Hello. Uh, I've been asked a question about VAT in particular, whether I think CX drivers should be VAT registered. Um, you don't need to be unless you're earning over a certain amount. I can't remember what it is. I think it's about £85,000. Um, but personally, I am VAT registered. I'm full VAT registered. I prefer using drivers that are VAT registered. And I'll explain why with a little demonstration. These figures are just out there. So let's say I get a £12,000 income for this month from my customers. And that's including VAT. So £2,000 that is VAT. That £2,000 I then have to pay back to HMRC VAT. But I've also spent £2,000 in fuel. And £333 of that is VAT. So I get to claim that VAT, 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 VAT back. So that reduces my VAT bill. And then again, I've also subbed £3,000 worth of jobs out, including VAT. And all them VAT, all the drivers that have subbed out to are CX drivers and they're all VAT registered. That's what we're going to say for now. So that's £500 in VAT that I get to claim back again. So instead of my VAT bill being £2,000, my VAT bill is now £1,167. So I've reduced my bill. Then again, I have other expenses. So I have servicing, MOTs, straps for the van, Anything I need in the van or for the company that includes VAT, I can claim that back. So I can reduce my VAT bill more. Now you might be thinking, if you don't charge VAT in the first place, you don't have to pay a VAT bill. But no, if you don't charge VAT in the first place, you still have to pay VAT on your fuel and on your expenses. So if you don't charge the VAT, you can't claim any VAT back. So your outgoings and become more now the average cx driver self-employed driver obviously isn't going to be subbing jobs out to other people so there is a thing called the flat rate scheme that i know quite a lot of drivers are on so that means you charge your 20 percent vat to your customers and then you get to keep a small percentage of that before paying the rest back to hmrc vat you cannot claim back your small expenses so you can't claim back your fuel anything for the van your mlt services etc you can claim back large purchases so buying a van buying a van is a big purchase you can claim back the vat on buying a van therefore you could get to the point where hmic owe you money depending on how much income you've got so i prefer to use vat registered drivers because if I didn't use VAT registered drivers, then I can't claim that VAT back. Yeah, so I'm not paying it out to the driver, but then I've got to pay it to HMRC. So if I didn't you spend that £500 in VAT on drivers, it just means my VAT bill to HMRC would be £1,667 instead of £1,167. So... That's why I prefer VAT registration. I'm fully VAT registered, like I said, so I can claim back all my expenses. There is another way for self-employed drivers that aren't paying out as much VAT as I am, um, the flat rate scheme. And I do think being VAT registered is key as a courier. I do prefer full VAT registration because I, I spend a lot of fuel and there's a lot of expenses, and I can claim that VAT back. Flat rate scheme would be no good for me, but it might be good for you if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so I hope that helps. I hope going over that little brief overview helped. And please like and subscribe, and uh, keep commenting. If you comment, then I can make a video about what you're talking about. If you ask me a question, I can make a video about it, and hopefully I can help some people. And hopefully everyone's having a really good day and a good week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.